Hi, I'm Dominique Cran, and you are watching Jesty Jester Speak. Hey guys, this is JT Jester Speaks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know every time we upload a new video. I'm so excited for you to see this interview with Dominique Crin, and uh, this is gonna be awesome. You are an accomplished uh, chef and uh, with three Michelin stars yeah. and two restaurants and I believe a bar as well as a bakery. First of all, thank you so much for having me on the show, so it's, it's well, a pleasure to be here. Thank you. This show is all about storytelling and right. uh, how we all have a story to share. We all have a story to share. <laughs> and we have to uh, always be uh, kind and, 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 and thoughtful when we meet people. Yes. And because it doesn't matter where they show you from the outside, there is always a story inside that that is so it true. It needs to be told. Now, always. talking about kindness, that is something that is so important to, for all of us in yeah. being kind. And for me, I'm actually writing a new book right now, and the book talks all about kindness. That's and amazing. So I'm really excited for it. But with that, where does kindness uh, play a role in your life? Well, <clears throat> kindness played a role in my life since I was born, you know. If, if anyone knows my t story, I was, I was born and, and raised in Versailles. I was, I was uh, adopted um, when I was 18 months. Uh, so I was kind of abandoned around six months old. I was adopted by amazing people that, uh, first of all, the kindness of giving love to a child, I think it's pretty big. Yes. And, you know, um, my parents, my dad and my mom really taught my brother and I to walk through life, to be um, uh, grateful about the life that you've been giving, but also being kind to others. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody's gonna look like you, not everybody's gonna come from where you come from, not if, if anybody maybe you know, religion or language and all that, but yes. be kind because we are a beautiful species on this earth and we want to get to know each other. And that's, that's where that comes from. That is from. great. Yeah. And, and kindness has, has brought you uh, so much success too, and, and not just in your cooking, but in, in the relationships around you. Right. And right. it's so cool to see. And so can you tell us a little bit about, you know, um, your story of how you became a chef and how, where the passion for cooking came from. Right, so <clears throat> so I grew up in France and I studied um, a bachelor degree, in, I have a bachelor degree in economy and I study international business and um, obviously uh, born in France, you know, one of the number one things is a part of the culture of course. Is, is food and and beauty, you know, is around you. And, uh, you know, my dad was in politics, so we, my mom was an amazing chef, an uh, amazing cook, my grandmother too. So this is something I grew up with. And I, I just really love the, the way of the storytelling when you go to a place and you uh, just have an amazing meal. Yes. And so when I came to San Francisco, I fell in love with the city, the people, and I'm like, and what I'm going to do now? <laughs> well, I guess I'm French. I, I need to cook. <laughs> so uh, I didn't, you know, as, as, as I say, I didn't study cooking. So I really focused on who I wanted to work with and who could teach me and, and help me to find my voice. And this is how I started. And um, then I decided to, I need to do my own things because I can't work for somebody else. Yes. And so I opened... Um, my first restaurant, Atelier Crène, in 2011. So we, this is the 10 years anniversary. Awesome, congratulations. Uh, the, I mean, the idea was to create a space where uh, I could welcome people, my team, mm -hmm. and a team where everybody had a voice and work together and be able to create together and bring a beautiful experience to the guests that wanted to come. And, and do my own my own things, you know, it's like a painter, you know. Um, food is, is, is a conversation, is a dialogue, and, and I use it as a platform to be able to interact with 
That's I guess. Awesome. And then I don't know what happened. You know, you, you get one star, the you know, two stars, and suddenly three stars, and then you. And then, you know, being a woman in the industry, then you become one of the first women in the United States, and then you realize that you have a platform yes. to be able to inspire, you know, young women out there that, you know, you can do anything you want when you put your heart and soul to it. Yes. But I want to be, you know, I want to continue to be a voice to uh, those young, you know, cook out there, male or female, doesn't matter. Yeah. And, and farther than just cooking because I think my voice go farther than just cooking so and being the first women with woman with three Michelin stars yeah had to be have been the most exciting such an exciting experience yeah I think there's you got that news. six in the world now <laughs> six or seven in the world that's awesome yeah it's pretty amazing it is but remember you know um, you know our words doesn't define you. It's what you do with it. It's how you use it. Yes. You know? And so it's been a, it's been an amazing, amazing journey, and I'm so I'm grateful to be where I am today. So. That's awesome. But with all that success, you've overcome many challenges, from yes. health challenges yeah. to to starting a restaurant too, and uh, yeah. and then also during these COVID times, the, huh. the restaurants have. It's been a challenge as well. But can you tell us a little bit about now? You you had breast cancer, and you are yeah. Uh, strong and doing healthy and well yes. now. Congratulations. So in, in 2018, we got at the end of the 2018, in November 2018, we got the three Michelin star. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. You know, <laughs> San Francisco. Uh, and then uh, 2019 happened and I was diagnostic with uh, breast cancer, mm -hmm. triple negative. I was stage two. So not, not, too of a good place to be. Yeah. Um, it's also a, a, a type of breast cancer where there is not a lot of research. So the way uh, the treatment needs to go, you, you, you get into a very yes. tough treatment. So I had 16 treatment. Um, it was very difficult. And, of course. But I, what gave me up every day is being bold to um, the voice also of a woman that also we are going through that. Mm -hmm. So I try to be that voice. Yes. Say, oh, it's okay, we, we can do it together. And I understand a lot of people going through that. And my team, but also my children, you know. I have of course. Two beautiful little girls turning seven May 1st. And I'm like, it's not my time. Yes. And and uh, then fall in love at that time and then get engaged and, and then suddenly we're yeah. like twenty twenty, let's do this. <laughs> and then and COVID the, happened. Yes. And then trying to nav navigate, you know, uh, being able to uh, keep your team together and healthy, but also to keep the community together. And, and you guys did an community. amazing job with that. I yeah. I mean that you know, sometimes we um, doesn't matter how much you have. Mm -hmm. You have to look further of how you can be at, at, at the service of others. And give back. To give back. And that's, who, that's why we are in the food industry, mm -hmm. because we give back 24-7. We give back. And this is who we are. So, you know, um, going out there and start to uh, make food for not just the community of a worker, but the people out there that's going out there and just need needed yes. us. One of my restaurants, we turned, uh, we pivoted one of the restaurants to be able to, uh, we're still doing that, it's been almost a year, uh, 2,000 meals a week for the homeless population in San Francisco. So that that's awesome. been amazing. And uh, we're still continuing to cook uh, a beautiful meal for yeah. um, uh, the, the medical industry, beautiful, you know, because they they because of how much they've given back to all oh, of us. Oh yes, you know, yes. and it's funny because uh, we kind of used to do this because you know in California we have a lot of fires, <laughs> so every year as we're like, okay, you know, let's you know let's let's be a part of making sure that people you know have food on their table, mm -hmm. you know, because fires is very big in California, especially in the. Uh, San Francisco and Napa and all that has been And this past year has been detrimental to there. This past few years has yeah. been, especially this past year. So it's uh, 
but we we have learned so much about mm -hmm. who we are and who we become and 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 I hope that you know people not go, gonna go back to their daily life and forget about it because this is the time to be able to Can change make a change to continue to support others give back and yes you have been so philanthropic to the community yeah and in using your platform too yeah um, it's it's important it's, you it's know and it's it's so rich mm -hmm. to have to be able to do that to others and that's awesome and, and sometimes i just wonder you know what it, what is the meaning of our existence you know mm -hmm. it's it's just to enrich ourselves and to just do our own things to you know or it, it is the reason why we are on this earth there is a meaning of course and, and what matters you know and of course you can do the other things <laughs> but it's kind of it's beautiful to have this part of uh, as, as you meant to give back and yeah and be also um to be able to listen to others you know and, and, and see what important. they need you know yeah so dominique what is one of your favorite dishes to make is that <laughs> Are you, is, is that a good question to ask? That's a great question. <laughs> I'm I make a damn good grilled sandwich. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I can make the easy mac in the microwave, but uh. yeah. I mean, I, I you know at home, uh, it's it's very simple, very delicious, very homey. Yeah. I love grilled cheese sandwich my way, mm -hmm. the French way, obviously. Uh, but you know, very simple. You know, I I can, I can also have a dozen. Uh, oyster in front of me, yes. and with a little bit glass of rosé that make me happy. <laughs> um, I do a lot of uh, old uh, dishes that my grandmother and my mother used to do, um, and just you know, my favorite things to do is to have people at home and come and eat and sit at the table. And be with together me. as a together. family and in that together time. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's it, amazing. It is, and it's so important. And I think that our you know this this time and age that you know getting away from the tables it, with technology and everything has been has been challenging and, and, and I think the best thing is being able to sit down as a family and spend that that quality time right. whether it's just dinner or if it's other meals too right because that quality time being able to put away the electronics and just spend together is so yeah important. and and yeah. you know I think is also this pandemic you know I think when you're a youngster mm -hmm. it also affected you know a lot of young people and in family just take the time to talk to your children mm -hmm. hey how are you doing today how are you feeling I know it's been you know challenging and reconnect with them and see what they need and I think that's important and see what if you don't have children maybe you have you know nieces or nephew mm -hmm. like reconnect with the young generation because um you know from the age of you know i don't know young very young to 15 years old this is is been tough on the young very generation. challenging very challenging yes. i talked to a few youngster and and you know what they say it's been you know isolation is not a good thing when yes. you're young so very true we need that social interaction for sure. social interaction but go skiing if you at beaver creek you know? <laughs> dominique thank you so much for being here and it was so great to be able to hear your story and i'm so happy for your health that first and foremost but also your success with your restaurants thank you and uh and continue doing your amazing work with philanthropic Thank side you. of things too and thank, thank you, you. Uh, thank you for having me it's uh, it's been a it's been an <laughs> amazing time here it's my first time so thank you thank you for welcoming me in your uh, communities <laughs>